since the last episode, I've been watching a bit of a TV show uh, that apparently came from a book called A Very British Coup. And mm. I just thought how amazing it is that how old these tactics are. Now, if anyone's ever heard of this book, it's about a it's, it's a work of fiction about a guy called Harry Perkins who becomes the leader of the Labour Party in the 70s. And he withdraws Britain from NATO and commits to nuclear disarmament. And between the British state media and the Americans, they pull every trick out of the book to discredit and remove this man from power. In the end of the book, it very uh, it ends with basically the question of the potential of a military coup. It shows like a shadow of a British soldier stood over a polling booth. I just thought it's, it's art simulating reality. <laughs> mm, mm, it's mm, just amazing mm. how, how close, obviously this was a fiction, book of fiction written at this point 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it could mm. have happened in, in in our lifetime in the last Labour leader. It's just amazing right. how cool right. that matches right. up. Yeah, yeah. And like, I mean, like you said, well, like we discussed last week, the general that was allowed to say um, if, you know, if Corbyn comes in, there'll be a mutiny, i.e. a yeah. coup. Something that we didn't mention, which which I found in a subsequent video, which with Corbyn talking about this stuff. So as we said last week, the British press, the newspapers and main press have not really talked about this leak, despite it being a, a massive leak. Um, but Corbyn obviously has made some comments and I haven't had a chance to look at all of them, but he did mention the fact that there were also British soldiers using him as target practice. There was a video yes. that came out of paratroopers in Afghanistan, I believe, shooting with handguns, pistols, at uh, a target, which was Jeremy Corbyn. There's no doubt about it. I mean, there's a video. You can go watch that video, too. So this idea that you're saying of a British coup, uh, very British coup, the book, um, being believable, when you see uh, soldiers <laughs> using the, la the leader of the opposition as target practice, uh, as a picture of his target practice, and you see a general making the statements, that he did, then that doesn't actually, it's not that crazy. Not that crazy yeah. at all, actually. In fact, barely fiction, right?